prepare basic meals according to the diet. Due to feeding issues, interactions between certain foods and medications, altered growth patterns and metabolic disorders, elderly people with disabilities are particularly vulnerable to malnutrition. As a result, maintaining and promoting good nutritional status is critical. Caregivers must understand and follow diet instructions, use appropriate feeding practices and be knowledgeable about nutritional information, food selection and the preparation of a balanced diet. Diet Types for the Client 1. Liquid Diet like soup and milk A. Liquid diet is recommended for clients who have difficulty chewing, swallowing or digesting solid foods. Tips It can only be given for brief intervals. It does not give the client enough nutrients. To prevent malnutrition, a soft diet must be introduced. Pureed or blended diet like chicken or fish or plain porridge with vegetables, fruits must be pureed if they are served. Pureed or blended diet is recommended for clients who have difficulty chewing or do not have any teeth. Clients experiencing swallowing difficulties as a result of a mouth injury, esophageal or larynx disorder. Tips there is no spicy food. It is recommended to blend with soup or gravy rather than plain water to preserve the nutrient. If you add an egg, don't mix it in because it changes the flavor of the food. Soft diet like rice porridge, steamed fish, bean curd, pudding, agar agar, yogurt, and so on. Soft diet is recommended for clients who have difficulty chewing, clients who have tooth problems or no teeth, clients who become ill, have diarrhea or vomit, clients following surgery, clients who are bedridden. Tips It can take the form of porridge or soft but slightly wet rice. Clients should ideally be served protein such as egg, bean curd, tem, cheese, baked beans, yogurt and fish. If animal protein is used such as poultry products, it must be finely chopped. To avoid nutrient loss, vegetables must be blanched before being finely chopped. Food preparation must be steamed, blanched or stewed. This method is healthier, keeps food nutrients intact and produces softer food. Normal diet Normal diet is recommended for client who does not require dietary modification. Tips There are no dietary restrictions. There is no need for any dietary changes. Vegetarian diet Vegetarian diet is recommended for clients who follow a religious practice or have a personal preference. Tips There is no onion or garlic. There will be no meat or meat products. Lacto-ovo-vegetarian clients can consume eggs and dairy products. Diet Modification High Fiber Diet High Fiber Diet is recommended for clients suffering from constipation, obesity, hypercholesterolemia and cardiovascular disease. Tips Vegetables are served in double portions. Instead of white bread, serve whole meal bread. If cereal is ordered, provide oatmeal fresh fruit is served. Low salt or low sodium diet. Low salt or low sodium diet is recommended for 
clients suffering from hypertension, renal disease or heart disease. Tips There is no Ajinomoto or MSG, monosodium glutamate in the food. Reduce the amount of salt you use in your cooking. Reduce your use of sauce. For instance, avoid salted fish, salted egg, soy sauce, oyster sauce, canned food and marmite, vegetable extract among other things. Bland diet or light diet. Bland diet or light diet is recommended for clients with gastrointestinal issues such as gastritis and peptic ulcers. Tips There are no fruits with skin. Avoid spicy food. There will be no deep fried foods. No whole grain bread or cereal. There will be no coffee or tea. There are no citrus fruits or juices such as orange juice. Low fat diet Low fat diet is recommended for client who has pancreas and absorption issues. Tips There will be no coconut or coconut milk. No butter but margarine is permitted. Skinless chicken The bare minimum of vegetable oil needed for cooking steamed, boiled or soup. Stir fry with less oil are all recommended cooking methods. Low cholesterol diet. Low cholesterol diet is recommended for clients suffering from cardiovascular disease, hyperlipidemia or hypercholesterolemia. Tips. There is no egg yolk. There is no butter. There is no beef or mutton. There is no internal organ meat. There is no coconut milk. Limit your intake of prawns, cuttlefish and shrimp. Low protein diet. Low protein diet is recommended for clients suffering from liver disease or kidney failure. Tips. Limit your consumption of milk, whole grain cereals, cream soup, meat soups, seafood, nuts and so on. Fish, chicken, beef, mutton, soya bean curd to be served in small portions for each meal. Example, 30 grams, that is one matchbox of cooked meat or fish for lunch or dinner. High protein diet. High protein diet is recommended for client with a history of diabetes mellitus. Tips. The client should be given a double serving of protein for breakfast, lunch and dinner and this should be done under the supervision of a dietitian. Diabetic diet. Diabetic diet is recommended for client who is malnourished or underweight. Tips. There is no sugar, honey, glucolin or brown sugar in this recipe. No sugar containing products such as sweetened desserts, canned fruits or cakes. Rice, one cup. Noodles, half cup. Bread, one slice. And potatoes, one medium sized. Banana, one small sized. And papaya, half piece are the only foods I serve at each meal. Low Purine Diet Low Purine Diet is recommended for clients suffering from gout. Tips There is no red meat, beef and mutton. Avoid drinking too much tea, coffee or cocoa. Internal organs, liver, kidney and brain Prawns and cuttlefish should be avoided. Mushrooms, spinach and asparagus should be avoided. Allow one portion of fish, one medium drumstick for lunch or dinner 
no more than twice per day ketogenic diet ketogenic diet is recommended for client with epilepsy who wants to reduce seizure activity tips diet with a high fat content 85% some protein 10% and little carbohydrate 5% it must be done under the supervision of a dietitian high calorie diet high calorie diet is recommended for client who is underweight or who is recovering from illness tips mix some margarine into the porridge or rice in the beverage mix in 2 tablespoons of milk powder and some oat or corn flakes spread margarine or peanut butter on the cracker biscuits or bread mix anchovies finely chopped or fried onion into the porridge to increase appetite low calorie diet low calorie diet is recommended for a client who is obese or overweight tips reduce your intake of high calorie deep fried foods nazi lemak curry noodles coconut milk dishes fried fish roti and so on reduce your intake of all fats and oils for instance butter margarine cooking oil and coconut milk reduce your intake of sugary foods and beverages syrup soft drink chocolate kaya jam cake are some examples serve more fiber rich foods like fruits vegetables beans lentils and cereal serve rice bread potatoes and other carbohydrate sources in moderation reduce the size of your food portions at each meal Thank you.